What's up? I am the Cranky Old Man. This is the first edition of Cranky's Corner, and today we've got a record player that we're going to review. We haven't seen it online before, other than little two or three minute blurbs here and there. It's called the Fuse Vertical Player. Now, some of you higher end guys aren't going to like it, but this isn't a higher end show. This is about us just having fun. So, we're going to go take a look. It's in the back there, uh, over there, and we'll take a look at it just in a couple minutes. All righty, boys and girls. Here it is, the Fuse Vertical Record Player. Isn't this thing a beauty? I bought this thing because I thought it looked so damn cool. I had to check it out. This is what we got down here for the controls. We've got play and pause for your USB. We've got an alarm, sleep timer, power, the different modes for your FM and your USB and your auxiliary out, or auxiliary in, I should say. It's even got an alarm on it, so you can use it as an alarm clock if you wanted to. Here we go, record go round and round. Anyway, it comes with its own slip mat. It's got a, mag a magnet to hold the record in place. And it comes with, you can get two different versions of this. I saw this originally on Amazon. And the only one they sold on Amazon had the, the standard red cartridge. And I don't mind the red cartridge. I think the red cartridge is fine. But I heard that they track just a tad heavy. But they have another version of this that's got the moving magnetic cartridge, the Audio Technica. I've got a few units that have an Audio Technica cartridge. So I went with that one. And full disclosure, before we get started, I changed it out. I changed the stylus out. To my other audio technica stylus simply because when this one was shipped to me the tone arm was loose and that thing was jumping around in there and i wasn't sure if it was going to be good or not but as you can see it comes with a cueing lever which works really well you come in the back you've got the passive you got passive bass speakers. They're not speakers, they're just passive bass. Right here, you've got a knob for 33, 45, and 78. It's a three speed player. You've got your power cable, you've got your audio out jacks. You've got an auxiliary input jack over here, and you've got your antenna for your FM radio. This is a belt-driven turntable. I've lived with it a month to kick the tires on it. And let's see what it'll do. All right, let's bring it into some modes and see what it'll do. We'll start with the radio first, all right? Right now we're on vinyl. A stage which itself is a relative comparison that you can get the kind of dynamics that we see in the data. So in my experience with college and university presidents and now radio reception is probably bad up in my area because I live in the middle of nowhere and I'm surrounded by trees. Now it comes with 30 presets, so you can, and it will automatically cycle through. That my best friend, she a real bad, got her own money, she don't need no, wanna dance. Talk about directly to you in our own local stores. That means okay. it's got a Bluetooth connection. And the Bluetooth works really easy. I'm not going to hook anything up to it, but 
I did hook up a couple of things earlier and they connect really easy. There's your auxiliary and there's vinyl. So that's for the record player. So let's put a record on there and see what it looks like because I know that's what y'all will wait for. All right, the record we're going to be checking out today with this thing is the Guardians of the Galaxy Mix Volume 1. So you put the record on. Put the magnet on there to hold the record in place. Start the... St it's kind of hard to do with one hand. And that's what it sounds like. I can't stop this feeling. Deep inside of me. Okay, so. When I first got this thing, again, I like to kick the tires. I like to hang around with it for a month. I did notice a few things, but they straightened themselves out. Like when I first got it, there was some whirbling in the sound, but the motor had to break in. So I waited for the motor to break in. It didn't take long. Just a couple of records and it was fine. Haven't had a problem since. Also, the picture discs, I noticed this thing, that's, this is why I, I put on a picture disc to show you it will work with one. Um, I originally said that it wouldn't in a review on Facebook, but the reason why I, I, the reason why it didn't work was because I was using a different slip mat. My slip mats were too thick. And because of the way they make these, the, the magnet wasn't sticking properly. But I haven't had a problem yet. It's been working just fine. All right, folks. There you have it. That was the Fuse Vertical Player. The Fuse Vertical Record Player. On sale at Walmart, of all things. I bought that one at Walmart because it has the magnetic cartridge. Amazon's the one that has the ceramic cartridge. There's two different styles. The, vert, the magnetic cartridge costs a little more, but I think you'll like the sound a little bit better. And I believe that it tracks a little bit lighter. Couldn't find much information on this. The information I could find was on the ceramic cartridge. They said the ceramic cartridge tracks in at about 4 grams. I figured this one would probably track in a little lighter. And so far, it hasn't done any damage. It hasn't hurt anything. And I can't hear or see any difference in the quality of my records. So I'm really happy with it. I think it's a great player for anybody to have. It's stylish. It's eye-catchy. It's a great topic of conversation. And I think you'd be happy with it. If you're the guy that wants to have fun. Now again, if you're one of those tech guys that's got to go high end on everything, it's probably not for you. But if you're a guy like me who wants to sit around on a Saturday afternoon with a beer and listen to some music or maybe sit around at night after he gets off of work, it's perfect. There's nothing better. Put some lights behind it and have a good time. Again, this is the Cranky Old Man. This is Cranky's Corner. We'll probably try and do one of these hopefully once a week or when I get some time. Don't know what the next one's going to be. Could be a record review. Could be another different product review or something totally different. Hell, it could be a rant. I could tell you a story about what life was like when I was your age. Until then, you're important. You've got opinions. Your opinions matter. Get out there and make them count. Peace out.